are you? We are so fine. How are you? I'm great as well. Nice to be here again, Mr. Stan and Vision. Mm. So, 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 did you hear in the intro of this story that I'm talking about? Mm. Now, Mrs. Phyllis, uh, she's that lady that she, she did not care uh, to see whether Brenda was pregnant or not. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about here? Now, let's, let's introduce this program. Yeah, um, it's two part. Mm. Brenda's got a baby. It's a song, right? It's a song. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at the lyrics. Let's look at the song then. Yes, let's look at it. Um, where do we start? Let's start from the Queen. Yes, so um, for me, mm. this song was recorded in 1989 actually. Yes. And it was only released in 1991. Okay. 20th of October 1991. Mm. So he's been sitting with this track. Mm. So the interesting part about this mm. is he read an article mm. in the newspaper about a girl who was raped by her cousin mm. and then she threw that baby in the trash mm. so for him it was it was very painful so he had to let the world know what do you think vision well first let's start with the lyrics yeah? mm -hmm. it's one verse mm. Mm. it's one verse right one verse the hook at the beginning of the verse mm -hmm. the hook at the end of the verse yes done yeah. yeah. done mm. For me, when I actually first listened to the song, I was like, oh, okay. Mm, title is Brenda's Got a Baby. Yeah. It can't be Tupac's mom because her name is not Brenda. Uh -huh. Is he calling his mom Brenda? Then he's going to talk about himself being that baby, a rapper. Mm -hmm. And then he starts the first verse. So he's going to tell you about Brenda and how it affects the community while someone says it doesn't. And you're like, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. He's bringing it back to his community? Mm -hmm. And then he speaks about it in a form like this. So, um... Brenda's child, actually, is part of the same community we're growing up in. Mm -hmm. But he's affected because now he has to be due to circumstance. Most so he doesn't choose the life that he's living. The other thing that you have to think about is that as you go deeper into the verse, yeah. you hear the relationship between Brenda and her cousin yes. was confusing. Yes, at first it's confusing. Because um, he's 21, mm -hmm. she's 12, mm. and he made it seem as if they dated. Because mm. there's a part where he said she imagines a world where it's just her and him against the world, against the mm. world, living together happily ever after. Yes, that that's that's using perfect mind games on a poor child. Yes, and and the fact that Brenda used to come back home with money, mm. and her aunts didn't care. Yeah, where it's, yeah. Where that's, it's from. that's what happens in the community. We're not asking where are you getting these expensive shoes from. Where are you getting these expensive gifts from? Exactly, and the worst part is um. Brenda starts making a different life decision, you know? Definitely. Because as she gets older, she decides, you know what, I'm going to sell drugs. Most yeah. Then she gets robbed because, you know, this, they look at it as, I think he depicted it as, it's not an easy thing. It's, it's a male dominant part of thing. Mm -hmm. So obviously she got, obviously. She got robbed. Mm. And then the last thing that Brenda saw, the only thing she can do to survive is going to prostitution. Yes. And then it doesn't end there. Do you know that? Brenda ended up being killed. So look at it this way. Mm. Brenda gets killed. Mm -hmm. Brenda didn't realize she's losing herself because she feels like she's mm. in love with family. Yes. Which can turn out to be her partner. That's why Tupac said a damn shame. Because the girl can hardly spell her name. Exactly. She never got to go to school. Yes. And if they actually just took her to school at that time, for sure Brenda would have learned, hey. Yes. What you're gonna be like, Brenda's got a degree. Okay. For sure. Yes. For, for sure, uh, Brenda, Brenda is now the first revolutionary black woman with a multi-million company or billion company. Yes. We don't know. Yes. But that's what happened. And poor Brenda died at a young age, for sure. We don't know how it was, you know? Yes. So, and it also shows how if something happens in the community, you only care about it if it's based on you. Yes, but you know what, uh, what, what, what hurts me the most? With mm. Brenda's got a baby. Mm. It's because she's uneducated, but she tried to make it right by seeking employment. But when you're in such situations, no one wants to employ you because when you are you are a teenager whose 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 life is not going the right way, no one wants to employ you. What 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 choice do you have? She's well, nothing else. That's why she ended up doing prostitution. Because remember, that's her last choice. 
Yes. That's an actual last choice. That's usually people's last choice, but uh, but in this in this day and age, it's no longer last choice, eh? Have well, you noticed? Well, I, I was actually I was actually waiting for that because you see, if you if you look around you, yes. Uh, okay, there's a there's a lot of opportunities for people out there. True. That is the first thing. Mm -hmm. But secondly, uh, there are those opportunities that people don't know about. Mm -hmm. You know, 